can see right in here is where I found that Jack Street pentagonal point in my last video just within 12 hours the water is completely up over it the water changes that much you might only have a day like that where you can really see what's going on you can find a new site on areas of the river like this one day every 60 but I know where to look now and I got another artifact blind digging underwater just scraping this stuff I'm around the corner over there just reaching up in like I did yesterday and got that point see if you see it I got a big knife it's pretty nice you know haven't been here long and it'll make the second artifact in like 12 hours well more than that I got some more points to go at more stuff to go on this video that I held back from my last trip so it's like four or five pieces but you'll see all that in this video right here it is it's pretty nice it's nicely made it's really black stained up you can see I got it down in decay and stuff in a layer of gravel it's ground on this side and that's the cutting edge that's a pretty nice little blade it's nicely made it's got a real nice dark patine on it pretty nice later fix all right i'm back i got another artifact there's lots of fly ash as you can see but there's fire rock in it i got an artifact there's a flake there's another blade it's really stained up that's what it is you can see it's the second blade later all right i'm back here's what i'm up to so far after about an hour I got this it's a piece of granite and that's either the back end off a of grooved axe or it's a hammer stone one of the two it's all beat up and it looks like the back of a grooved axe but I got these two preforms this one has a weird tip on it and this bigger one it's lightening up it's gonna be glossy gray stuff but it has that staining all over it and I got all these flakes so far um, and that's it the water's up, so I'm not going to find as much stuff, but I'm still going to find stuff. That blade's kind of nice. Later. All right, not long later. I'm not going to stay a long time today because the water's up. But right up here, I got an artifact, and there's flint flakes all through this screen. But right here is a beautiful translucent, looks like Carter Cave, maybe, end scraper. And look at it. This is the first one I found like this on YouTube. It's worked on this end. And it's worked on that end. It's a uniface little tool and it's a double wind scraper. That is awesome. Very cool. You can see it there, all the chipping on it. Uses a little scraper probably for hides. See the lip on both sides there. That's a good find. Thin blades, not a bad day already. See the dorsal ridge on it there where it's come off on the flake, how they made it. Nice piece, later. This is a real old site and I found some places to sift. There's like a rough preform, but there's a better one. It's not a bad piece. It's a preform for a point. I'll get back if I see anything else, later. But you can see in here there's gravel that there's fire rock in it and there's flint and i walked this in this place and found you know a whole pocket full of flint so i started there's a layer in here about this thick this is about that thick see right to the base clay that's the base clay so this stuff's just setting on it and i'm scraping this and i've been finding little flakes and if you're finding little flakes you just got to keep going you might have to go 20 minutes you might have to go three hours of hard sifting and you might have to sift a lot, but you are gonna find something if you have it in you to dig. And I did. Coming down to my kayak to get my phone out so I can get pictures of it in the screen. I've got a real tiny little bird point. It's not one of those river pin points, I can tell by the form of it, but it's made of Flint Ridge. And I don't know if it's a Burton or what, but we're gonna look at it. I think it's an archaic point, but it's just made out of the most beautiful translucent material it's about this big wait till you see this fix i've been on fire and this this is perfect later all right folks this is what i was doing found arrowheads laying out in here before and there ain't much there's only about an inch of stuff and you know it used to be deeper at one time but i've sifted here a lot in the past and i keep it worked down it's just i keep it to a nice sandy beach and keep all the trash out of here so i can look at this is all I got in the screen. We'll take these big rocks out. I hadn't even, I just rinsed it one time and I saw the point. And man, do you see it? There ain't much. 
but stuff in this screen but I've been finding before we pick up the point I'll show you here find that cash blade here just a minute ago and now this point so it's two artifacts and I've been here 45 minutes without a break just scraping like this and sifting non-stop and you can see I got a whole pocket full of flint there's that I'll take that out I like that I like these cash blades they look all nice framed together but uh put this in my other pocket here so if you don't get dinged around let's pick up this beauty it's just right here it's just awesome material and look at that it looks like a Brereton to me side notch and I think that's exactly what it is oh man folks look at this smoker it's it just glows look at that oh man that's not many Brertons and that's what it is it's like that little black one this is about six thousand years old um, I just found one of these about the same size not long ago, but this one's way nicer Man, that's a nice little point folks Look at that material. I still got West Virginia to look so um, Man, I can't believe this I haven't found a Britain on this site for a long time. I've been finding weird stuff. That's a beautiful little point The material is beautiful. It's perfect. It's got a needle tip. It's made superbly Oh man, I'll put up information on the point. Two pieces here real quick. Later, fake. That's a shame. That's a big hybrid bass. Yeah, it's not big. I've caught them like, I don't know, 10 times that size. I've caught some big ones. Hey, here comes a big cold word. Give you a shot of it here for a second, and then I'll row over there, row over there closer to it and give you a shot of the old boy when he goes by. Make a nice addition to the video today. All right, here she comes. I think this is the Captain James Anderson. I think I've seen this boot before on video. They make this is an A. They all these birds that say AEP which stands for American Electric Power this coal is probably going to a power plant someplace yeah it's American Electric Power on the barge too the name of the barge is the Captain James Anderson A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N the Captain James Anderson Powering down the river. Later, folks. All right, I'm back home. Here's the point right here today. You can see there's a brute inside notch. The age is mid archaic, 6,000 to 4,000 years BP. BP stands for before present. So this point today is, you know, it can be up to 6,000 years old. Here's another one I found on my channel about a week and a half ago in West Virginia like i don't know i would guess 15 miles and that's a pretty close estimate but on the opposite side of the river on the same stretch of river 15 miles apart from this one you can see this one right here looks just like that one the notches are just right on and this is what they are it's a rather common type on the river um, but it's not common to find them made out of flint ridge most of them are dull kind of what you would call crappy material but there you go. Um, there's a few more up there. And there's other types of Brutons too. Here's the Bruton Ear Triangular and Bruton Corner Notch. And you know, this one is close to a Bruton Corner Notch. You can see right there on this one to its right, right here. It's pretty close, but that could go either way. It really looks like this one too, but it's a Bruton. It's, you see 6,000 to 4,000 on all of these. They're variations in this point type of this culture. But anyway, later folks. All right, I got I get squirrel man, all kinds of different kinds of stuff. Yesterday was payday, so I went to the store and got him a bunch of these. And this is his new favorite. There's his piece. I'll take it up and I'll show you chowing down on this. Next is squirrel man. Later. Yeah, look who I found, fakes. You're gonna fall off and hurt yourself, squirrel man. Look here. 
What's that, buddy? Is that your favorite? <laughs> yeah, Ford Squirrel Man's been holding the fort down. Well, I've been out looking for airheads. Look at that. Is that what you wanted, buddy? <laughs> He's ate like he ate a whole one of them in one day. Look at this. I'm gonna eat it. Uh oh, we dropped it. Let me get it. Here. Here he goes. He's back on it. He just loves them things. Look at him. You know, if the cherries were just a fad for like three or four days and the grapes were, I don't know, a couple of weeks, now it's these things. Plums, whatever they are. He'll eat a whole one in one setting, won't you, squirrel man? <laughs> well, anyway, folks, I'll get back on my next one. Later.